Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in algorithms that is divide and conquer strategy. Divide and conquer. So in today's session we'll see the introduction what is about this divided and conquer uh, strategy and what are the different applications which will follow this strategy divide and conquer in order to solve the problem so in our first sessions we have seen there are different strategies like divide and conquer uh, dynamic programming greedy method etc in order to solve any problem so the main goal is to achieve the optimal solution right the better solution so one of the strategies is divide and conquer and so here there will be a three parts divide conquer and combine so for the first part is a divide part so where the complete problem can be decomposed into multiple sub problems so first the problem will be divided into multiple sub problems so that will be done in this divide part okay so problem is decomposed to multiple sub problems the second part is a conquer so as the name itself indicates it's a conquer so conquer means applying some recursive calls or recursive procedure to solve each and every sub problem right so the second part conquer so providing solution or finding the solution for every sub problem so finding solution for every sub problem and there is also a third part which is called a combine so after finding the solution for all, all the sub problems the next part will be the combine so we have to combine the solutions of all sub problems to get the main solution so the third part will be combine combine so the name itself indicates combines means so joining or integrating the solutions of all sub problems so combining solutions of all sub problems right so these are the three steps involved in this divide and conquer usually some materials or some textbooks or some online co uh, uh, information will be having uh, as a d and c right so it will be represented as a d and c divide and conquer right so and the applications what are the different applications that follows this particular divide and conquer so the main applications which follows this divide and conquer are binary search binary search so where the complete element should be in a sorted order so that we have to find the middle element and we are trying to compare the search element with the middle element so that we are deciding whether the element the search element is available at the left part of the middle element or the right part of the middle element right so the search space in the second iteration the search space will be reduced to half so in the second iteration we will follow the search space from either first to middle or middle to last so that approach will follow this divide and conquer so first we are dividing the problem and again we are applying the same procedure and we are based upon the result we are proceeding with the further division or we are combining the solution so first one will be the binary search <coughs> next 
quick sort so as we know that sort means arranging the elements in a ascending order or either descending order usually the elements will be arranged in a ascending order so here also we will be having a lot of elements so usually that will be stored in an array so we have to consider a pivot element and based upon the pivot element all the elements that are less than the pivot should be arranged towards the left side and all the elements greater than the pivot elements will be arranged towards the right side now the complete array is divided into two halves left half and right half and again from the left half again we have to select the pivot element and again based upon the pivot we are arranging two sub arrays and coming to the right rightmost array again we are dividing the rightmost array based upon the pivot two sub arrays so this is a, again the process which follows the divide and conquer so dividing the problem and providing the solution finding the solution and again combining all the solutions so quick sort is also an application which follows this divide and conquer methodology and merge sort so this is also one sorting technique so where uh, here also the elements will be arranged in a sorted order so here first of all we have to divide the complete array into two halves and further again this left sub array and right sub array will be further divided into again two halves until it reaches to them two two elements right so then again the process will be from bottom to top so uh, the, for every sub problem for every sub array we have to arrange the elements we have to compare the elements and we have to arrange the elements in a sorted order and again we have to merge two arrays and again we have to compare and we have to apply the sorting technique and again we have to apply the we have to combine both the arrays so the merge sort means again first we are we are going to divide the complete array into sub arrays and again we are just combining all the merged elements all the sorted elements so merge sort is also one application that follows this divide and conquer so don't worry about this so one by one we'll again we'll solve each and everything so we'll see how we have to apply the divide and conquer and one thing you have to remember either you are using the binary search or a quick sort or a merge sort so one th two things are common so one is formula so formula means i mean uh, at what point we have to divide the complete uh, problem into sub problems so according to which condition we have to divide it okay so that is a formula because in binary search we are finding the middle element and based upon the middle element we are comparing with the search element and then we are dividing coming to the quick sort we are finding the pivot element and based upon the pivot element we are dividing and coming to the merge sort this is also we are finding the middle element and we are dividing this uh, complete array into sub array so we we require some formula to divide the problem into sub problems and the next one stop case so stop case means how far we have to divide the sub prob problem into sub problems so at particular time we have to stop that division so that is the most important stop case right so identifying the stop case or a base condition is somewhat difficult so that is that may be one disadvantage of divide and conquer and also not all applications will follow this divide and conquer and this will be not suitable for all the applications to get the optimal solution so right so you can see these are the few applications so i'll i'll draw the simple uh, diagrammatic representation about these three parts right so you can see first a complete problem so one advantage is complex problems can be easily solved by using this divide and conquer so for example this is a problem this is a problem so this is again divided into two sub problems two sub problems right so sub problem one and sub problem two this is a complete problem right so based upon the formula and based upon the stop case again this sub problem can be divided into further right so for example again this is divided 
So problem one. So problem two. And again. So problem one. So this process will be keeps on moving, right? It keeps on moving. So once it was done, now finding the solution. Solution. And here also finding the solution. And here also we'll be having solution. And here also we'll be having solution. Now, division is completed and conquer is completed, right? So, up to here, that is a divide part. A divide part. And up to here, this is a conquer part. That means finding the solutions. And after that, we have to combine both the solutions. Solution, right? So, this is a combined part. So, again, here, we have to combine both the solutions and later again we have to combine complete solution right so this part is nothing but combine so three parts divide conquer and combine divide dividing the problem into sub problems right so this is a part and this is a conquer part and this will be the combined part okay this is completely the combined part so identifying the problem sub problem and applying the same procedure in order to find the solution finding the solution and combine the solution so finally we'll get the complete solution for this particular problem okay so the same approach will be applied for we have seen the applications med sort quick sort or uh, towers of Hanai problem and as well as the binary search okay multiplication methods finding the minimum and maximum elements we can also use the this the same strategy in order to find the maximum and minimum elements right so hope you understood the complete introduction what is this divide and conquer strategy so to get the optimal solution so let's stop here and in our further sessions we'll see each and every application that follows this divide and conquer and how we can get the optimal solutions right so hope you understood this one let's stop here so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much